p.m. Thursday. Thursday. Top rated anime series Wolf's Reign is at 8.30. Then we expose the white isle that is Ibiza at 9 p.m. Friday. Friday. Three hours of urban flavors kicked off the weekend from 3 o'clock. We then up the BPM with Dance Selector from 6. Then join Steve Sutherland, Lucy Ambash, and artists including 50 Cent, Sean Paul, and Shaggy on Groove TV at 9 o'clock. Saturday. Saturday. We have Cinema, 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 That Film Show, Innovate, Gamers, followed by a whole afternoon of extreme sport. And at 9 p.m., it's our big Saturday movie. Sunday. Sunday. We bring you the Sunday Rewind. That film show, Gamers, Full Metal Alchemist, Wolf Rain and Groove TV every Sunday. You're watching Rapture TV on channel 288. Watching Cybernet with me, Steve Truitt. Today we'll say hello to a prince, fly high on a snowboard, get chased by a dragon, and meet a real sharpshooter. It's blazing, it's Cybernet. Our show begins this week with a royal return. There have been a few imitators, but when it comes to manipulating time, no one does it better than the Prince of Persia. And now he's back in the Two Thrones, a daring new adventure on the PC, GameCube, Xbox, and PlayStation 2. This final entry in the trilogy includes all the features that made this critically acclaimed series such a hit. Outrageous acrobatic maneuvers, gorgeous landscapes, challenging obstacles, and intense fighting. It also contains the game's trademark element, the ability to control time, which allows you to slow down or rewind action. This not only gives you the edge in battle, but also lets you redo misguided jumps. The story picks up directly following last year's Warrior Within. The prince has just returned from the island of time to his homeland of Babylon. But when he gets there, he finds the city has been ravaged by war and the kingdom turned against him. Now the prince must regain his throne, defeat the forces of evil, and save the woman he loves. You must be the prince of Persia. Come home at last. Too late, I'm afraid. Thankfully, this is much more than just a rehash of the first two titles. To begin with, there's a new combat technique called Speed Kill. When sneaking up on a foe, you can instantly slay him if you time your button punching correctly. The most prominent addition, though, occurs when transforming into the Dark Prince. This alter ego has immense strength and cares only for death and destruction. As for weapons, the Dark Prince uses a deadly long-bladed chain called a dagger tail. At other times, you can use stealth attacks and wield dual swords. These simple blades become most effective once you master the long list of combo moves available. Adding to the fun are a few chariot races where you fight with guards while careening down crowded streets. The large environments are once again designed as mind-bending puzzles, requiring delicate jumps and nerves of steel. In other titles, all this wall running and leaps of faith would be frustrating, but here the smooth controls make it a pleasure. The Two Thrones is a magnificent wrap-up to the series, combining the best of previous releases with fantastic boss battles and spectacular graphics. We're sorry to see the Prince of Persia go, but at least he leaves us on a high note. The snow is falling and the mountain is ready for some radical snowboarding. But there's no need to get off your sofa to ride this powder. Just hook up your GameCube, Xbox, or PS2 and get ready for SSX on tour. As the fourth installment in the popular SSX snowboarding series, on tour is packed with loads of 
completely unreal courses and even more unbelievable tricks. Many of your favorite tricksters such as Mac and Elise return along with plenty of new faces including some characters you'd never expect to see tearing down a mountain. Oh, will we Like previous editions, your goal is to pull off as many high-flying tricks as possible. This helps you build up your turbo meter so you can go even faster, make higher jumps, and pull off huge monster tricks. These are much like the previous game's uber moves, but are now called on-tour tricks. By pulling off stunts, you acquire style points, which can be used to purchase new clothing items and unlock new levels and characters. There's still some diversity amongst the riders, although more often than not, it just comes down to whose catchphrases you can tolerate hearing over and over. Unlike the first two games, which took place on courses all over the world, here you're limited to only one mountain. You're given three peaks, all with varying difficulties and challenges to accomplish. Unfortunately, aside from varying slopes, there aren't many differences between this and the last title. However, considering how much we love SSX3, we can't really say we're disappointed. We especially like the wacky, unlockable characters, such as a beaver who rides a log and a snowboarding sumo wrestler. Though we would have loved to take on boarders from around the world, there aren't any online options. However, you can still grab a friend and hit the slopes for plenty of two-player action. In addition, GameCube owners can unlock Mario and other classic Nintendo characters. So grab your controller and throw that lift ticket away, because SSX On Tour is one snowboarding adventure you can enjoy without getting frostbite. Okay, it's time to roll out Cybernet's Top 10 GameCube chart. Join Crash Bandicoot in the all-out driving frenzy of Crash Tag Team Racing speeding in at number 10. At 9, step up to the plate and play ball with Mario, Luigi, and the rest of the gang in Mario Superstar Baseball. March into battle with the Allied Forces in Call of Duty 2, Big Red 1, taking aim at number 8. In at seven, follow the adventures of the world's greatest super spy in James Bond 007 from Russia with love. Help your Sims find true love or make their lives absolutely miserable with The Sims 2 diving in at number six. Riding in at number five, become a gunslinger and help restore law and order to the wild, wild west in gun. Take control of a squad of soldiers who follow your every command and let your strategies unfold in battalion wars. At number three, terrorize the streets of New York City as the infamous giant ape in Peter Jackson's King Kong. Leap across rooftops and defy gravity while saving your kingdom in Prince of Persia, the two thrones at two. But it's the outlaw racing action of Need for Speed Most Wanted that takes the flag as our GameCube number one. Fans of that lovable yellow sponge have another reason to celebrate. SpongeBob SquarePants is back and you're invited to the ultimate party. So grab your friends and get ready for some twisted fun in lights, camera, pants for the PC and all consoles. In this minigame extravaganza, you can play as several characters from the cartoon, ranging from SpongeBob himself to the always thrifty Mr. Krabs. When a popular television production comes to your town of Bikini Bottom, a contest is held to win a spot as a guest. Your goal is to complete as many challenges as possible and secure the starring role. Unlike the Mario Party series, this title doesn't have a central game board which dictates when a challenge will occur. Here you seamlessly jump from game to game while participating in plenty of crazy challenges such as fishing for beach balls and flipping the most hamburgers onto a bun. Not surprisingly, most of these mini games are very challenging and require little to no instruction to learn. They can range from bouncing pearls off an oyster to executing dance moves. One of our favorite events is performing in your own rock band where the player who plays the best wins top rock and roll honor.
Graphically, this game continues to closely follow the style and feel of the SpongeBob cartoon series and uses the authentic voice actor from the show. And while each challenge is fairly short, the controls are solid and responsive, giving even novice gamers the ability to complete most challenges. Overall, SpongeBob's leap into the world of multiplayer party title is a strong one. Although there are only 30 minigames, there's still enough hilarious fun for everyone. Plus, the numerous unlockable levels and characters make Lights, Camera, Pants one wet and wild ride. It looks like another year at the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry is underway. Harry Potter and his wand-wielding counterparts are back, this time facing a new menace in the Goblet of Fire for the PC and all consoles. In this action adventure, you once again assume the role of those three lovable sorcerers, Harry, Hermione, and Ron. When you're mysteriously entered into the Triwizard Tournament, you're given a slew of magical objectives to complete. However, evil forces are plotting against you, which will put your skills to the ultimate test. The biggest change from last year's The Prisoner of Azkaban title is you can no longer switch between characters mid-mission. Fortunately, while fighting through levels, you are assisted by both of your fellow wizards. This allows you to either let the AI take control, or find two friends and prepare for some three-player co-op action. As you progress, you'll collect Birdie Bot's every flavor beans, which are scattered around the level and dropped by defeated enemies. These beans act as currency and can be used to purchase spell cards to power up your characters and magic wands. You can then customize your power with the strongest spell cards, which helps when dealing with bigger challenges. Well, that did it. Throughout each level, you must search for Tri-Wizard Shields. Most of these shields are found by fully exploring a level or by solving environmental puzzles. Collecting these will unlock special challenges from swimming in Black Lake to escaping a dragon on your broomstick at lightning speed. Watch out for those fireballs. Overall, this is another strong Harry Potter game adaptation. Three-player interactive action, great graphics, and solid gameplay make this an exciting escapade through the world of Harry Potter. Whether you're a fan of the film or just a casual player, there's something here for everyone. Now, where'd that dragon go? Yikes! Coming up, survive a ride into the Wild West, become a starship trooper, and search for the dragon shard. TV presenter, are you the next big thing but just don't know how to break into the industry? Be On TV is looking for people over the age of 18 for real presenting shifts for channels currently on TV. You could earn up to £400 a day and you don't need experience. We're holding auditions in London, calls cost £1.50 a minute and last for approximately five minutes. So to register for your place, call now on 0906 507 9911. That's 0906 507 9911. When it comes to extreme sport, you need the right equipment. Click Extreme's revolutionary magnetic funk connection system resist forces of up to 130 miles an hour. Air vents help eliminate condensation, while shatterproof double polycarbonate lenses mean Click Extreme won't let you down. For sport or leisure, Click Extreme offers style, convenience, and comfort. For your free catalogue, text Click to 88800 or visit ClickExtreme.com. 
Click. Serious eyewear. Neo Magazine, the UK's only magazine for Japanese, Korean, Hong Kong anime, film and manga. All the best DVDs, games and books reviewed every issue. Plus exclusive interviews, features and competitions. Join the UK's biggest anime and manga forum at neomag.co.uk. Neo Magazine, available at WH Smith, HMV and all good news agents. Or subscribe at www.neomag.co.uk. The week ahead on Rapture. Monday. Work up a sweat at 9 with Heat Personal Fitness, then cool down with Inside Hollywood at 9.30. Tuesday. Gadgets and gizmos galore at 7 on Innovate, followed by Matt and Kate on Gamers at 7.30 and Anime Action at 8.30. Wednesday. Wednesday. Bringing you the best movies and DVDs, that film shows at 7 o'clock and Cat Rapture's midweek movie at 9pm. Thursday. Thursday. Top rated anime series Wolf's Reign is at 8.30, then we expose the White Isle that is Ibiza at 9pm. Friday. Friday. Three hours of Urban Flavors kicks off the weekend from 3 o'clock. We then up the BPM with Dance Selector from 6. Then join Steve Sutherland, Lucy Ambash, including 50 Cent, Sean Paul and Shaggy on Groove TV at 9 o'clock. Saturday. Saturday. We have Cinema, 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 That Film Show, Innovate, Gamers, followed by a whole afternoon of Extreme Sport. And at 9pm, it's our big Saturday movie. Sunday. Sunday. We bring you the Sunday Rewind. That Film Show, Gamers, Full Metal Alchemist, Wolf's Rain and Groove TV every Sunday.